Hello, hello, this is and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be looking at all the Tim Tim Com books that are coming out in August. And for this month, there's not really all too many that's going to be coming out, but there's a few big ones I want to say that are coming out, which I do think people will enjoy quite a lot because, oh boy, <laughs> so um, yeah. Okay, so on August 14th, we had the Tim and T, the RW Collection, Volume 4, and this is the trade paperback version. So, this one did come out originally as a hardback, like, many years ago, but now they're re-releasing them as trade paperbacks, which is, like, cheaper, a, a little lighter, and this one is going to be collecting, uh, some issues, uh, issue 29, 237 of the ongoing series, and also the Ultra Empire, and also the annual 2014, so you do get quite a lot, and this is going to be uh, roughly about $40, it's going to have 344 pages, but it does include, like, some, like, covers as well, so you do get quite a lot, so, yeah, if you want to get that, that's coming out on August 14th. And then also on August 14th, we do have the Tim and T, the Nerd Watcher, brand new ongoing series. And this one, and this is the one which I'm really looking forward to, probably the most, just because it's the Nerd Watcher, and just, oh my god, I can't wait for this one. This one, I've got a feeling it's probably going to be like one of the best ones to come out for this year, so it's going to be an interesting title to read, and I do think that people probably will like to pick up this one, because it's turning into all the new ongoing stuff. Okay, so for the description... So the description is, after making a dark debut in the Free Comic Book Day special, fans have one burning question, who is the Nutwatcher? Violence and discrimination against mutants is running wild, and new vigilante will rise up to combat it. But who is this fearsome armoured fighter standing bravely against the criminals who wish to harm mutants? From a brilliant mind of, of writer Juni Burr and historian artist Fera Pei, uh, comes an action-packed ongoing series that spins out in, of the pages of Teenage Ninja Turtles to delve into the grim reality of New York City after a mutant bomb and unveil the secrets behind the mask. So, um, yeah, okay, so already just with that, that sounds like really interesting just because it's in that watch show, he's coming back, and this, yeah, this sounds like a really interesting one. And then, like, even with the actual team itself, that's also something which... I don't think people, like, are really, like, I, 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 I don't know, I feel like people are not really that excited for, like, the actual team itself, but this is probably going to be, like, one of the best teams we've gone in, like, quite a while, because we've got Juno Bar, who's didn't, um, and, and he he's able to write the annual 2022, the Alliance issue number three with the uh, Angel and Alapex stuff, and all those issues were ones which, uh, like, people really enjoyed. Therapy has done the artwork for the Stranger Things stuff, uh, some of the Armageddon game stuff, and yeah, I mean, his artwork's really incredible. And even looking at some of the pages, beautiful. And even the colorist is Luis um, Antonio Delgado, who's doing the stuff for The Last Ronin and also the Samuel Adventure stuff. And even looking at the colors, it is beautiful. This team is going to be so underrated and uh, possibly one of the best teams ever. So yeah. And there were like a few covers, uh, which I'll just go over a few of them now. We've got a cover A done by Fer Penchi, a cover B done, uh, done by John uh, Lanky, uh, cover C done by Eric Bolt, which is supposed to be a 40th anniversary one. Uh, we've got the 110 variant done by uh, G Gonzo. And there are quite a few other ones uh, for like different, um, like, <laughs> uh, people that's in the comics, like, you know, conventions or stores. But those are the ones we've got right now. As of right now, this is possibly going to be my uh, comic book I'm looking forward to the most for this month, so yeah. Okay, so then going over to August 28th, we have the Tim and T, the Samuel Adventures, issue number 16. So, for the description for this one, it is, The Universe's Greatest Criminals Organization has been made aware of the new planet to exploit the primitive backwater known as Earth. Before the Phantom can move in and start profiting uh, through, they must get to the Tim and T out of their way. Kidnapping and ensuring the tolls in, in the brave washing simulation seems uh, easy though, until Mikey manages to break free. Now all he has to do is rescue his brothers from the Phantom's influence, figure out where they've been taken, and find a way to send these career criminals packing. No biggie, right? This is the end of the arc, so be sure you don't miss the final of the Phantom's introduction to Samuel Adventures. And yeah, I mean, I've already said before, I, I, I mean, I would like this cast of characters and I hope that these, con like, like, like these characters come back and become like, like main like villains for this series. I really hope so, but I guess we'll wait and see about that. But yeah, overall, it just uh, seems like it's going to be a really great issue. Now, for cover, we've got Dan Schoen doing the cover of like, the first cover, which is an homage to is it Justice League cover, I want to say. It looks really cool to see all the characters there. And then also got cover B done by Michael... Uh, Kazilek, uh, I'm pretty sure I said it wrong, 
but it's just been eating some pizza, so yeah, not all too much I can really say about that one. Um, okay, so then moving over to the final one, which is Tim and T, Black, White and Green, issue number four. Now, this one's also going to be coming out on August 28th, and the description for this one is, One last chance to experience the Tim and T in Black, White with Splashes of Green, in four brand new standalone stories from comic uh, top talent uh, Patrick uh, Gleason, Lee... Uh, Garbett, uh, Eric Henson, uh, joined the lineup with her own uh, writer artist entries, including Timothy Lee Tour of New York in a uh, Gigi Dutrichik and Linozo Hall's collaboration. Raphael comes into contact with a med uh, medicine spirit. I, 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 you know, I've, I've, <laughs> I don't know what to really say about that because. Yeah, okay, either way, moving on to the covers, uh, we've got a cover A done by Patrick, uh, no, we've got, uh, oh god, this is all going wrong, uh, cover uh, A done by Pat Gleason, which looks cool, we've got uh, cover B done by Lee uh, Garbrett, and for the 110 variant, which is done by Kevin Anthony, so, yeah, god, <laughs> I, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did say quite a few of those names wrong, so, um, yeah, I'd like to apologise on that, because, <laughs> but, yeah, either way, this month is, it's looking a little bit short compared to other months uh, with total content, but at the same time, like, the next month we'll begin the, like, issue number two for the ongoing series and stuff like that, so I do feel like that's where, like, one big uh, comic is missing and stuff like that, but either way, this month is looking really packed with everything that's coming out, and... Yeah, I got a feeling that this month is looking to be probably like one of the best ones for this year, just because of what they have installed for us. Just because we got the like new Nightwatch stuff, which I think possibly going to be the possibly like one of the best uh, total series which we'll do get in quite a while. The creative, uh, I mean, uh, Tim Lone on that one is just perfect, very underrated. So that's going to be an amazing one. The Zamon Adventure stuff, that's one which I'm looking forward to, like seeing how they're going to be like wrapping things up with that storyline and I hope that like, these characters do come back because there's so much potential that oh so great um so yeah let me know in the conversation below what do you think about all this are you looking forward to it are you not like, which uh, issue are you looking forward to the most and stuff like that and uh yeah uh, that's going for today guys if it doesn't please share this is grabbing all stuff good bye yo bye